Hello, beautiful brothers and sisters. How is it going? Just got to wait to see if we're live. Yes, we are live. Let's do this, famalam. So I'm just going to share this video in the event is happening. Um, let's just see if anyone actually jumps on the call. Okay, I'm just going to put a message in Team Jen. I am live. Um, okay, so welcome everyone. Uh, do you like my new hat? I've been I've to splash out on a new hat. I love this colour. Um, now, I just want to let everyone know about the 4-4 transmission. I don't normally come online the day after the transmission, but it's very, very important that I let you all know what happened yesterday. I personally feel that there is not one single soul in this community that would benefit on a quantum multiverse timeline level from doing the transmission last night. The work we did was so extraordinary and so profound and so transformative that I, I don't understand how anyone cannot, because it's being offered to you. I don't understand how anyone can say, oh, no, I'm, I'm all right for that. I'm all right for I'm all right for the, you know. At the end of the day, what we did was we completely and utterly transformed the operating system of the divine masculine. We did an, a complete overhaul where we moved the old toxic patriarchal um, software codes and we ejected it out of, out of, divine consciousness and we upgraded the divine masculine consciousness and we implemented the new software into into the consciousness of the divine masculine most people were working with their father because it's all it's all at, at this time where my father has passed and stuff like that do you know what I mean oh, hold on a minute what's going on here and so um I woke up this morning to the most incredible feedback from so many of you in the community that have said that you experienced such a profound transformation from doing this work. Now, what I will say as a reminder is that for many of us in this community that have been single for quite a long time, there is a very, very strong reason for that in a lot of cases and a lot of it is to do with your, your your masculine archetype your inner masculine archetype which needs to be upgraded so many of us are operating from a, a masculine archetype that is not able to serve us that is not coded with devotion but but what happens is it sort of like creates this phantom sort of like masculine which is like a placeholder masculine for your divine masculine but Essentially, it's just holding up the process. We need to shift internally. We need to make the internal shifts so that the external can shift. That's why I've woke up to so many emails because people have had a direct shift, a direct internal vibrational shift with, um, with, with their, their patternings around the type of masculine that they were attracted to. So it's really, really important work, brothers and sisters. And I just, I do not have the language to be able to convey the potency. I wish I did. I'm doing my best, but I really, really feel that everyone in my community has a duty to do this work, whether it's with this particular timeline or at some point in the future, like we are duty bound to take responsibility for what is going on with the collective masculine energy. There has been an, a blatant attack on divine masculinity and it is up to us to change that. It is up to us to correct that and, and to call it out. It's not going to shift unless we show up as the ground crew and say, no, enough is enough. This old toxic paradigm of masculinity is is not serving us on an individual or a collective level anymore and it has to go and so the whole transmission was focused on that there was an element to the transmission as well whereby we all connected with our christic flame within us i spent about half an hour transmitting um about the christic flame and so many people wrote to me this morning specifically talking about the christic flame because my intention was to um 
really, really give you a direct experience of the flame of divinity that burns within your higher heart, within your thymus gland. And the intention was was 100% for you to be able to source comfort, source calm, source peace from your own inner sanctum. So a lot of the transmission was about preparing your your frequency um, to, to be a frequency that activates comfort for you. Anyway, I highly recommend it, guys. I really do. I'm just going to go see if anyone's um, actually on the call. Hello, Yukari, darling. Hello, you look different today. Looks small girl. I've got my hat on, Yukari. Anyway, let's share this video, guys. Come on, let's share this video. And um, we'll get it out there to... I'm going to share it to Prosperity... Whatever my group is called, I do not know. Prosperity, flipping quantum prosperity. Um, Hello, Gurpreet, darling. I mean, the little girl, sorry. Oh, I think, <laughs> well, I think I look like quite, quite a young lady myself. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to put the link for you to um, gift yourself the transmission. I highly recommend it. It was absolutely 100% next level. Like it really, really was. And, um, and so... Yeah, the more people that do it, the more quicker the collective shift is going to anchor because we are doing big, big work now with clearing this old sort of like energy that is not serving us and where we are going. We are at a crux point right now. And so let's work with this momentum. Let's let's really use this momentum to to clear these toxic timelines you know so anyway that's the first message i wanted to say i highly recommend that you gift yourself the uh four four transmission just going to clean this let's make it a little bit less fuzzy okay is that better um and also i just wanted to say thank you to everyone in my community for really really um stepping up and supporting me at this time of, of what's going on with my stepdad and it's still really really shocking and i i don't think i've I, think, I don't think I've assimilated it. I think it's just kind of there. And it's like, it's so, it's a shock because he was a bill of health until January. He had no health problems whatsoever. He used to run up and down Glastonbury Tour four times a week. He never got sick. He had never, ever, ever had any issues. And then all of a sudden it was like, we got the word that, 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 that my stepdad was seriously ill in January. And then by the end of March, he's gone. And it's, it's such a shock, like, honest to God, it's such a shock for all of my family. Um, you know, like, like he was the patriarchal figure of our family, of the McCarty family, you know. So I, I, I'm in the thick of it. I'm, I'm processing this, but I'm blessed with this overview. I'm blessed with this oversight. And I'm not, I'm not identified as a victim. I don't see myself as a victim. No matter what happens to me, I am blessed with that perspective to be able to really like understand the, the macro perspective as opposed to my little micro perspective. I've been super blessed to be able to observe what, like, what does that mean for the collective, you know? So anyway, I'm so grateful to everyone in my community and all the love and all the care and the tenderness and the kindness that you have been showing towards me and, and, and sending towards my family in the last few days. I am so deeply grateful. I really, really am. So I'm just going to just see if there's uh, any other messages. Hello, Suze. Hi, Lacey. You, f you feel unreal. Yeah, I do. It's been a cosmic celebration inside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, it's... It, it was the hardest um, thing to, like, it hasn't landed. It's kind of like sitting there and it hasn't quite landed that he's gone. But that's okay. That's just where I'm at. But because of all that, I was very, very inspired last night to um, gather a load of my offerings and create a bundle for everyone. And so basically I've created this bundle and in the bundle I was sharing with everyone on the um, transmission last night was that a few years ago, I suffered from really, really bad chronic IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, and I just couldn't heal it. I tried acupuncture, homeopathy, like you name it, allopathic medicine, the works. And I just, I was always bloated and I always 
had this feeling of not being able to digest my food properly and then one day I just kind of got on my knees and I was like please God please help me clear this issue and then all of a sudden I was taken on a journey and I was taken into the depths of the the bush in Australia and I was taken to a um, a tribe and this was my soul tribe and when I got to the tribe they all started doing this dance this welcome dance and they did this whole ceremony where they welcomed my soul back to the tribe and I did this ceremony because I realized that all illness stems from the false belief in separation. And so all healing comes from, from, from belonging, from, from finding that vibration of belonging. And so through this meditation and working with these Aboriginal elders, I was able to activate that core godly vibration that, that, that my spirit belonged and then within 24 hours all of my IBS symptoms went and you know what they've never ever come back so this protocol that I have brought through it's called the miracle healing protocol and it has helped so many people and it's difficult for me guys because I've brought through all these amazing protocols and healing modalities and it's like I'm in this world where loads of people are like going oh, I've got this I've got that I've got this and, and load, it's a load of bs most of it it's not even real it doesn't even work and then there I am going oh I just happen to be the real deal oh I just happen to be like you know creating these like you know meditation stuff that really do actually heal you you know that really really do actually like bring miracles into your life and it's just like oh you know hi here I am guys and, and it's difficult for me because I'm not gonna like push myself out there but I want you all to know that there is an incredibly next level healing protocol that I have channeled that has helped so many people heal from chronic disease and I have added this to the bundle because I believe that there are people in my community that are suffering from chronic illness be that autoimmune illness be that fibromyalgia be that be that ME, be that IBS, like seriously chronic diseases, you will benefit. If you truly, truly do this protocol, you will benefit. And if your heart is open, you will benefit. So anyway, I, I just really, really want you all to know that I have brought through these um, healing protocols. Oh my good God, what's going on here? Oh, Lord of Lords. Sorry guys, I'm having a, I'm having a, a moment, a malfunction moment. Oh dear. Oh, stopped working. Anyway, so the point is I've made a bundle for you all. I've made a bundle with the Miracle IBS. I've got a 21 day abundance protocol. Again, it's working with the subconscious mind. It's working with codes and frequencies that communicate directly to the subconscious mind. And so you don't have to have 25 years worth of healing your relationship with poverty. You just drop these codes into your subconscious mind and it fast tracks you to up level your relationship with abundance and self-worth so that you can start attracting what you're truly worthy of attracting you know by clearing all of those belief system that says that you know being be, being in poverty is very spiritual being being poor is very virtuous we shouldn't charge for our services if we're spiritual that's a load of bs that's not the world that we live in we're god's children we are meant to be in abundance we don't actually really need that much abundance but um we can have as much abundance as we want you know it's up to us and anyway we, when the abundance is siphoned off to us then we can then channel it to the most vulnerable people in society so of course there's got to be some sort of like redistribution of wealth situation going on and that's what's going on so anyway the bundle's amazing it's over 600 pounds worth of stuff and it's like a fraction of the price and i'm going to post the link for you to gift yourself the, the bundle i highly recommend it it's amazing there's like five or six like amazing meditations you've also got my audio book of no more crumbs um there's loads of things in the bundle so i just want to let you all know about that um archie chronic illness comes from our mindset that's very very true that's very very true um so any other message 
I feel like I am somewhat getting back on my horse about after finding out about my stepdad. I'm not back in full work mode, but I'm sort of slightly getting back on my, my horse. Hence, I'm doing this video. But I will say that the big thing that, that are coming up for me, uh, I'm going to be publishing my Divine Actor I Am book and I'm going to be publishing my Manifestation Mastery book. And I'm actually going to, for the first time, I'm going to be running Facebook ads because I actually want to expand my community now. My community's got a little bit stagnant. And I want to now really, really um, attract more coaches, attract more sort of spiritual leaders and high level business owners. I'm also going to be very soon launching my um, Diamond Plus Mastermind, where I'm going to be taking a group of 10 women on a three month deep mastermind journey to uh, to encode them with the divine actor I am uh, teachings, which are just. I've no words. I mean, I could tell you how powerful this is. Do you, do you want a little, a little a little glimpse into how powerful the divine actor I am? So one of my very my closest friends, Joe. I, I, she was, she's like my best in-person friend. And so when I found out about the protocol, about the um, divine actor I am, the next day I met, met up with Joe and, and we, we went into it. We started channeling our characters and we started like acting and embodying the energy of what we wanted to manifest. And she said to me, Jen, I want to manifest that, that house on the seafront. It costs three and a half million pounds. I don't have the money, but I'm going to act as though that is my house. So I was like, okay, so we acted as though it was and blah, blah, blah. And we did it. Then there was a viewing. The house came up for sale miraculously. We then went to view the house. And then all the while, Joe is holding the vibration, holding the embodied vibration that she owns that house. She doesn't have any money. In, in physical reality, she doesn't have any money, but she's holding that vibration. I met up with Joe today. Do you know what she said to me? She's like, oh, Jen, I've got, I've got some um, good news for you. She said, I went to my prayer group and I met this guy and I really connected with him. And he came up to me and he's, he's a multimillionaire. And he said to me, I will happily lend you the three and a half million pounds to buy that property. And then, no, he said, I'll buy that property and you can rent it off me or I'll lend you the money to buy you that property. Like, that's a miracle guys that's an absolute complete and utter miracle like she's literally just manifesting a three and a half million pounds property on the seafront from doing the divine actor i am and suddenly this guy has come in and said oh yeah i'm you know i'm happy to you know give you the money so i'm going to be teaching people that come on this diamond plus mastermind how to actualize so we're going beyond manifestation and we're going into actualization act act realization not because when you use the word manifest you are basically saying it's not here now the language of just saying oh i'm manifesting a million pounds your subconscious mind is saying i don't have a million pounds i'm manifesting it so that's not how you manifest it you, you say oh, i i i now have a million pounds well, i'm i'm walking through the world as a woman who is a millionaire i'm showing up as 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 her i'm an embodied frequency of that that is completely and utterly different from you saying i want i'm going to manifest a million pounds do you get me guys like we have completely and utterly flipped the whole manifestation conversation on its head here and no one is really really uh, talking about this level of actualization so what's going on at the moment is that I'm attracting the 10 women that are going to go on this journey with me, um, this three month, very, very, very deep enlightenment um, mastermind with me. And I'm going to basically um, sort of like initiate you to work with this protocol, not only for yourself, but also with your clients as well, to be able to teach your clients how to manifest I mean, I can't even begin to let you guys know what's happened to my life since I've been working with this practice. It is just like a book in and of itself. It is so powerful what we're working with here, the energies that we're working with here. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know about that anyway. All right, let's see these messages. No one is near the truth. Yeah, I got it. Yes, Joseph Murphy also said that. Yeah, Gurpreet knows. I share, I shared, I shared on my From retreat doing the transmission sorry, last night. I shared with everyone on my retreat about it. And, um, you know, coming to Wales in July, chronic illness, blah, blah, blah. I feel it. Thank you. You don't, you don't, you feel unreal. It's been a cosmic. Yeah. Just checking your messages, guys. No one. Yeah. So that's it really. Um, 
So I'm going to post all the links that like as Gurpreet has posted the links for the bundle and posted the link for the 4-4 transmission. I'm going to be working with this really beautiful soul sister called Heather. And I'm actually going to, for the first time in my business, I'm going to be running Facebook ads. I'm not going to be doing it myself. I'm going to be doing it with Heather. Heather's going to be running my ads. And so that's really exciting, isn't it? And it's like, we're going to be expanding our community, attracting more people into our community. So looking forward to that guys. And, um, yeah, I've just got to get through this time and I'm so grateful for you all. And I hope you like my hat. I think it's not bad. It's quite a nice hat, isn't it? I love this colour. It's my favourite colour. Um, where's Archie there? Archie! Archie! Oh, he's probably hiding under the table. But anyway, that's my message, guys. And um, I really, really appreciate you all. I'm going to upload this video to YouTube. I'm going to upload this video to Instagram. To everyone on Instagram, please, can you say hello? Because I always look like Norma, Norma no mates on Instagram with my videos. No one comments on my videos. And I'm like, it's just, it's just so embarrassing. Like, just at least go to my Instagram video. Oh, hi, Jenna. Thanks for the video. So it's just like nothing, just like crickets. And it's just like my, my Instagram just look, it's like I'm really having a hard time with my Facebook. Let's also, you know, support the Instagram as well and, and like you know the odd little comment wouldn't go miss on my instagram so if you're watching this on instagram please just extend a moment of appreciation and make a comment and it will really help the videos start appearing in the algorithms again one last thing i want to tell you i was with joe today and we met for breakfast and um, we were walking down the road and i just suddenly i started talking about my twin flame because everything's a bit up in the air with my twin flame at the moment and um the moment i started speaking about him i looked down and there was this i saw a ring on the floor and it was this ring look this ring literally this ring the moment we weren't speaking about him at all but the moment i started speaking about my twin flame this ring like what an amazing ring if anyone's got any insight into why i manifested this ring when i was speaking about my twin flame like let me know answers on a postcard please but what i thought i was like why did the universe give me that ring and i thought to myself well remember that time i told you all that um what, what god told me god said every time twin flames come into go into separation and come back into recognition every moment that that happens that that momentum of that recognition happens do you know what my team said to me they said a brand new star is birthed and that's how we birth all the stars in the sky from the love of the twin flames and they said every star that is born is like a baby star and it has a name and the name is a combination of you and your twin flame so i'm not going to tell you what my my star is called because then it will give it will give too much of the game away but that's what i think this is it's about reminding me of the star that 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 because i'm a bit he's not in my best books at the moment my twin flame i'm a bit disappointed with him at the moment but it was just like reminding me that anyway i'd love to hear your insights from gurpri and yukari and all my enlightened sisters i'd love to hear your insights but anyway i'm going to go now guys and um thank you so much for watching this video i really really appreciate you all um i'm going to upload this to instagram and youtube and probably even send it out to my community via my email list so on that note i'll just see if there's any more messages have anyone said anything about the old ring what is christic flame means it's the flame that burns within you hon Okay, let's see. Star means five means expanding. Oh, I knew Gurpreet was going to get goosebumps. Gurpreet. Gurpreet, what was the goosebumps? Was that the bit when I said about um, the star? I, I felt you were getting goosebumps in that moment, Gurpreet. Um, yes, hallelujah, beautiful Jen. Oh, that's exciting. Heather will do it. No one, Heather will do it. Yes, Joseph Murphy, goosebumps. So, yeah, I, I think that Gurpreet was getting goosebumps when I said about the star. I bet it was. Star being born. Yeah, yeah. I think that was it. They were like, oh, don't lose too much faith. You've got, what about your little star? I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> He's all right. <laughs> anyway well that's my message guys I, I love you all so much and um hopefully in about 30 days i'll no longer be at the bottom of the news feed i was quite tempted to go back on my other profile i was like should i just go back on my other profile because like no one's seeing any of my posts anymore and it's a bit of a shit because i'm still posting amazing things but anyway i'll probably stay on this one it's only 30 more days but hopefully i won't get another. if i get another one i'm just gonna go back on my other profile Anyway, that's my message, guys. I love you all. Have a beautiful day and um, namaste. Mwah.